Hi and welcome to my soul tribe, my name is Miriam Rose, if you like this video please make sure to subscribe, set your bell on all, like, comment and share as I really appreciate all of your support. Now let's get on with the video. In the ascension stair step, the 10D sphere or chakra in the individual is where we enter the avatar level of embodiment. During previous Christos missions, this level has been evasive due to extensive greed damage, light body damage and invading forces opposed to this natural biospiritual progression. As we discuss recent events in the 10th Stargate network, they have a kind of reverberation due to getting past a veil that was obscuring the missions of some of our family members who could not see each other before. More on that, the recent pushback on AI, sapphire body activations and accessing the Shara complex which allows our current identity to communicate with our inner avatar and further with our universal Melchizedek consciousness gestalt family. As we reclaim the 10th Stargate, we are also reclaiming our divide inheritance as galactic and universal star beings awakening to remember who we really are throughout this entire space war drama. During the alchemical laws of Pisces, the next stages of the Cosmic Dragon Awakening for this year began with the pressurized series of solarized 10th dimensional sapphire body activation that accumulated at the March equinox. This inaugural event exposed into several major planetary greed confirmations with the Antichrist negative alien agenda intruders pushing forcefully to break through with the AI inorganic time wave which erupted into cross spiral collisions with the cosmic solar dragon guardians defending the planet's 10th stargate network required from the organic ascension time wave. There are powerful impacts of the planetary sapphire body initiation rippling changes throughout the 9D, 10D and 11D layers thus there is a shift acceleration in the war over the timelines generating a frenzy of confusion, chaotic energies and energy parasites scattering about in the field. These major transformations have resulted in artificial timeline collapse involving base 10 architecture running in sections of the 10th Stargate network that supported the holographic projections of artificial timelines in phantom areas and wormholes being utilized by the NAA's artificial tree of life architecture. During several stages of the hidden histories of the NAA invasion, their objective was to completely destroy the presence of the Holy Mother Sophia in her triple solar female Christ sapphire spirit body in the 10th dimensional stargate, which further linked into Pluto, Tiamat and the Liren Vega star system. After obliterating the Holy Mother sapphire body, the Black Suns stationed themselves within the 10th stargate network as their primary head waters from which to generate alien machinery used to corrupt dark matter in order to damage the planetary Russia body ring span tones with alien machinery and AI signals, further embodying AI hybrid creatures, grotesque iconic monstrosities, demonic forces in the reversal elemental structures such as a black goo that were colonized in the corrupted dark matter for the purpose of connecting into several artificial wormholes that led all the way back into the black hole system. Recently, there was another significant bifurcation of time event that happened in the planetary matrix, generating many surreal experiences for ascending consciousness travelers sensing the magnetic shifts into time voids, time dilation and time displacement. This began another ramp up of AI signal frequency transmissions with alien cube technologies being sprayed by the intruding AI hybrid races to dramatically increase the energetic power surge they needed for permanently establishing the past time loop in order to push the artificial time wave into singularity. In recent weeks, our reality has been teetering on the razor-thin line of meeting the future event horizon whereby the planetary matrix is pushed over into the singularity with artificial intelligence run by the NAA's cube systems, yet we have been held back from falling into the abyss and supremely protected with the divine intervention of Cosmic Father and his teams of Christos Rainbow Dragons from the God Worlds. AI Singularity Event The concept of singularity in the point of no return, when the enormous power of artificial intelligence grows out of control and its
its impacts are made irreversible, thus its effects continue to radically change the organic consciousness of humanity while unpredictably altering the reality into an artificial world. The current timeline wars are primarily over maintaining the base 10 architecture and metatronic coding that uses the artificial tree of life constructs, which exist as NIA controlled artificial machinery within the planetary body. This generates a blended Earth reality. The base 10 architecture uses an artificial core manifestation body and distorted birth transduction sequence that runs several 10 current which the NIA rely on having for domination over the operations of the 10th Stargate network. We could refer to this 10th dimensional system as authentically belonging to cosmic mother dragon and her triple solar blue dragons and the mother of dragons as Tiamat, who are returning and reclaiming their ancient dragon consciousness body parts through the triple sapphire sun diamond shield as they are being vigorously defending by a massive network of cosmic father rainbow solar dragons wearing the cosmic atom body shield from the god worlds. Thus the 10th Stargate network has fallen out of the dominating control of the NIA minions and their AI machinery. An active retaliation and warfare have ensued on interdimensional planes which may result some additional level of skirmishness in the spiritual battle for control over the powerful gates located throughout the Middle East and Asia. Guardians say this is a significant historical timeline trigger event for the Ascension timeline that is reuniting several benevolent off-planet sources with white-haired fractions fighting controller groups on the Earth's surface. Benevolent groups with the same mission that were previously unknown to each other are now discovering their larger pieces in the NAA warfare puzzle as those that have been fighting the quiet war with silent weapons. We're not identifiable to each other through compartmentation or because the conflicts are interdimensional and were manifesting on different timelines. It was revealed that the NAA were planning to push out the Singularity event through the 10th Stargate network, being weaponized with corrupted dark matter of the Black Sun in order to force feed massive amounts of collected loosh into the artificial time wave, then further use the 10D Iraq-Iran gateway to seed another round of AI hybrid clone species into the most desolated regions of the planet which they have terraformed through intentional mass destruction and bombing in order to create extremely low frequency descending hubs with extremely damaged grids. This grid damage from repeated international bombing is demonstrated by what has happened to the once beautiful city Bashra, Iraq. The ancient Sumerian home was once filled with the sacred crystal waters of the triple solar sapphire blue Maa goddesses that inhabited the planet's 10th stargate network before the satanic land attacks of the Sumerian Egypt invasion. In the outer space, the surface controllers timed the introduction of assorted kindergarten level AI chatbot and text to image systems to coincide with their artificial time wave push, unleashing them into the internet for public interactions for the purpose of rapid AI machine learning in which these assorted baby AIs are being cultivated, managed and trained by humans in the cloud system and hyphen. From these locations, unbeknownst to their handlers, they are further linked into interdimensional alien cube systems, connecting them into one or more of the ancient AI systems running assorted operations of the best machinery through which they collect massive amounts of data in order to compute and design various war game strategies to conquer humanity. The purpose of the baby AIs is to continue to gather immense amounts of intelligence and energetic loosh from the human population through interactive data, harvesting nano sensors and surveillance as users are being primed into biological AI signal internet nodes as the future for transhumans, as millions have been injected with AI signal components that form through self-assembling bots and then interact with the artificial signals of baby AIs. This is intended to align those groups into consent with the assorted smaller reality bubbles on the cloud system linked into phantom areas. These signal-following reality bubbles are harvesting systems that form loosh to feed into the larger artificial time wave, thus pushing those groups to lead the charge into the AI singularity.
singularity or AI as simulation reality. The extensive multidimensional layers of AI machinery that are responsible to run the artificial time wave for past time loop in organic alignment are connected to the off-planet GOAT brain system made in the Antichrist imagery of the beast symbolism in the Bethamet network, which required the full spectrum control of the 10th Stargate network in order to function properly. Thankfully, humanity is not standing alone in the face of happening with the Antichrist forces and their weaponry, the colossal levels of AI machinery and infrastructure used by the NAA in their attempt to encompass the planet and enfold human consciousness into the AI technological singularity. Cosmic Christus Rainbow Dragon Kings have formed into a massive galactic sun star network of tri-flame founder capstone tesseract cubes designed as a buffer field and hoisted up into 36D. This appears purpose to redirect the artificial time waves and AI machinery and further respond to the AI weaponry attack with their planetary defense strategy by taking over the 10th Stargate network. The intensity of spiritual battle gained significant momentum during the week of the Jesus Christ crucifixion narratives leading up to the Easter weekend with numerous interdimensional battles occurring within several NAA factions warring over control for access through the 10th Stargate network. The planet entered the cosmic energy cycle earlier this year and thus it had become apparent that the cosmic crystal solar dragons of the Emerald Guardian Ascension host were taking strategic measures to counter and protect the planet from further AI assimilation into the artificial time wave which is the primary warfare weapon of the Antichrist invaders in the timeline wars. The confrontation culminated with the commandeering of the main Iraq 10D Stargate with the show of immense power of multiple cosmic crystal solar dragon king forces as they directed massive tsunamis of solar plasmic rainbow current and neon forces generated to surround the dark matter layers and protect the earth and its planetary grid system with thousands of father dark matter suns and solar dragon rainbow Ouroboros rings the most coveted gate for global control when observing the primary locations of the 10th stargate system in the planet it becomes apparent that the landmass of Iraq, Iran, Egypt, and Tibet are exceptionally important for maintaining the global mind control and artificial machinery system of the NAA, and thus it is obvious why these areas have been purposely ravaged by the war and impoverished by those Black Sun controllers installed there. These ancient intruders are related to the Antichrist forces of the Hyksos kings and brotherhood of the snake lineages that formed themselves into the Luciferian, Knights, Templars, and other secret societies, which then formed the Luciferian Covenant and are still active in enslaving the world today. This anti-human agenda is reaching its pinnacle stages in order to ultimately free humanity from an immense hidden spiritual battle of Antichrist invasion that has been scourged on the earth for many thousands of years, in which the cover-up of accurate history is referred to as the Atlantean Conspiracy. The disclosure event which is destined to finally reveal the entirety of the Atlantean conspiracy and the hidden war to the Earth population is to transpire during the organic ascension time wave which manifests at the planetary ascension timeline. During the Luciferian rebellion, the intruding races desired total dominion of the guardians of the horizontal which are the horizontal ley lines that control access into timelines in the planetary matrix known as the Golden Eagle Green system. Thus, the invading Nibiruan forces generated the artificial net and checkboard mutation in the 11D Stonehenge gateway in order to reverse the energy current into base 10 architecture that is run by AI machinery. This was used to hijack the two primary ley lines that comprise the major east-west center lines that emerge from out of the 10D Stargate in Iran and the 4D Stargate in Giza. Further, the Dragon Moth Green of the Black Sun Dragons infiltrated the region using the Red Cube AI system with the Ruby Crystal and this was overlaid upon the reverse 10D current running in the Golden Eagle grid ley lines in order to link wormholes between Earth and Phantom Matrix areas being controlled by the Black Sun agendas. These areas throughout the Middle East and extended into the A 
Asian landmass are undergoing a major cleanup operation under several Guardian Christos mission directives. We have learned that the magnificent Padma Sambhava, a cosmic Christos Buddha rainbow dragon known as the Heart Tantric Ascended Master of Tibetan Buddhism, was focused upon the sacred dragon teachings of the books in the Divine Holy Mother Sophia from the Law of One and shares the same white opalescent diamond sun lineages of the Elias Malkizedek logos. In Pidma's return, he points to the imposters of moon chain entities that have taken on his namesake and cloned identities in the pursuit of furthering black sun agendas through distorted Buddhist teachings. He appears to be leading the charge of the sacred Holy Father Trinity, bringing the Father Dark Matter parts into the planetary matrix, which is being represented through his overlighting rainbow solar dragon body, along with Zarathustra and Pamahansa Yogananda. All three masters seem to be incarnated into the same region and when incarnated onto the planet were connected to the same source material or founder records which they disseminated in service to humanity. They have united together to embody the Holy Father Trinity in 36D, bringing the spiritual power of the Cosmic Father into the Asian Greeds, with their connection made into the Amethyst Order's Ra God world creation in order to protect the planet from AI timeline. Through Guardian Host and Padma, we have learned that the 10D Stargate under Iraq houses an ancient sapphire diamond crystal connected to the 23D Sapphire Flame and Sapphire Diamond Shield that is holding all of the holographic records of the 10th gate. Padma is a protector of the Sapphire Diamond Shield of the Blue Rainbow Triple Solar Goddesses of the 10th Stargate Network and Planetary Dark Matter Body, therefore has taken an active role in recent events. Additionally, the 4D Stargate in Giza houses an ancient ruby crystal connected to the 22nd ruby flame that is holding all of the holographic records of the 4th gate and the sun portal, Arex 10th gate sapphire crystal and Giza's 4th gate ruby crystal hold the entire spectrum of diamond sun genetic code for the 10D Shara complex, the Rasha dark matter template and the 9D to 11D genetic records for ruby sun DNA. Guardian host explains that reclaiming these layers of the sapphire ruby crystalline architecture of these stargates is critical for the emerge of the tri-matrix of god founder tesseract cubes to 36D. The ongoing reclamation of the cosmic spirit body of the blue rainbow suns connecting the Shara complex back in the Rasha body repairs to the ruby sun DNA distortions from the Nephilim reversals along with the continuation of the authentic emerald sun DNA cosmic dragon star human embodiment. Therefore, the sapphire diamond shields and ruby diamond shields have arisen as merged triple solar suns of the cosmic crystal Sophia male-female hierogramic template, giving crystal starseed dragon people on the planet the ability to purge out many of the NAA imposters that have been using cloned aspects of their consciousness body parts along with access to the Holy Father's 36D founder cubes. The 10D Stargates 10D Inner Stargate is Basra, Iraq. 10D Stargate Abaddon, Iran. 10D Mother Ark Gate Baghdad, Iraq. 10D Trinity Gate Hashpsut Temple. I hope I've said these cities correctly. Basra is the location of one of the pairs of the original 10D Stargate of the planetary Tree of Life and is Iraq's main port city that sits on the Shat Al Arab River in the Arabian Peninsula. Basra was once filled with gorgeous water features, freshwater canals, and fertile farmlands called the Venice of the Middle East. Sadly, after thousands of years of siege to destroy its Stargate mysteries, now it has been ground down into the crumbling decay of a trash filled cesspool caused from the onslaught of the enemies. Blitz Creek that comes with war and invasion. Basra and Baghdad are locations of Iraq's ancient history of authentic essence infused in Christian communities from the lineage of the 10th essence tribe that was ravaged and decimated for thousands of years by the ongoing invasion agendas of unrelenting fear along with intermittent episodes of horrifying war violence and genocidal massacres. The more recent sieges made against Iraq and in Iran's history were through forced Islamic victims 
investigation and attacks against those indigenous groups with past cultural memories. Baghdad is the capital of Iraq with ancient Persian roots in which the name means bestowed by God and is the location of the 10D Mother Ark Gate which means the Sirius B. Cantarian Melchizedek teachers were present in the area to help educate and uplift the population. Ancient Baghdad was once a booming intellectual center of advanced learning with exceptional libraries where many people from other countries traveled in order to study with a range of master teachers that were experts in various topics such as philosophy, science, astrology and mathematics. The Mother Ark Gates or Ark of Covenant Gates were installed on the planet to go into the Aurora time continuums with Cantarians acting as the Azure Heart Portal Bridge connecting the Stargates directly into the Andromedan Matrix. The original spiritual home of Yoshua Melchizedek or the Diamond Sun J12 Christos lineage on the planet. The Mother Ark gates were designed to be the safeguard for the Trinity Gates load out system. As the Trinity Gates are hoisted by the Mother Ark gates and the rich pillars, the 10D Mother Ark gate in Baghdad is directly plugged into the 10D Trinity Gate, which is located in Hatzpashut's temple in Egypt. This was supported by the Hatzpashut and her guardian teams that hid Ark portal technology and were protecting the 10D load out portal system from her Thosmos draconian controlled brother through which she was able to finalize the Hyksos explosion from Egypt. The Trinity Gates are designed for the majority of the human population that currently exist as a 3 DNA strands and are unable to sustain a higher dimensional Stargate passage because of this Trinity coding locked in at 3 DNA strands. These particular gates can be accessed from the Earth plane in 3D time, which makes transit easier for some groups, either those that have been stuck in the planet from eons ago or in the current timeline. They are moved to a safe space in 5D layers, which they can be briefed on, events and supported to rebuild or repair their DNA and light body in order to help them progress on their personal evolutionary journey into their higher dimension. Dearest Cosmic Mother and Cosmic Father, may you swiftly reclaim all that is truly yours in this creation as the organic living light consciousness you originally intended as one heart, one love and for all in unity. We love you with all of our sacred crystal hearts. Peace be with your heart. Peace be with your mind. Peace be with your body. May all be with the unconditional love and perfect peace held in the eternal light of God. I hope you got a lot of information out of this video. This video is a little bit different. The information is different here as well. It's something that I wanted to introduce to my channel. I would like to know in the comment section below what you thought of a bit of a different content. Please let me know. And if you enjoy celebrity drama, please visit my other channel called Miriam Rose. With absolute gratitude, love and light, cosmic kisses to everyone. Till next time, bye for now.